friends, welcome to Shahin's Kitchen. Today I am going to make a special gravy for you all. Paneer cheese pasanda. It tastes great, so come and learn how to make it. Take a deep pan, add 2 large spoon or 2 serving spoon of oil. This gravy requires little more oil. When it separates, you can separate it to avoid more oil. Oil is hot. This is bay leaf or tej patta. Cinnamon stick, dalchini, one large cardamom. This is known as doda lychee. Few cloves or long and black peppers heat them properly the onions I have boiled them and run through a strainer to get a fine paste like this and now we have to cook onions till they become light pink in color the cheese we have cut them thinly like this and we have to stuff them with cheese I have taken mozzarella cheese and cheese bread mix them Add a pinch or two inches of red chili powder and this is tomato ketchup, one or two teaspoon and little bit of salt. Cheese is salty itself. And now we have to fill our paneer cubes with this mixture like this and with very little oil on non-stick pan you will fry them shallow fry them from both the sides till our gravy is getting cooked we are doing this preparation now our onion has become pink we have to add ginger and garlic paste turmeric powder red chili powder add according to your taste if you like spicy add more and if you eat less spicy reduce the quantity I have taken 3 teaspoon of red chili powder And this is coriander powder, 3 teaspoon of it. And now this is a paste of boiled tomatoes. I have run the paste through strainer to get a fine paste of it. And now we have to cook this gravy till it leaves oil. I 
at this stage we don't have to add water we will add water afterwards cover the lid for 2 3 minutes slow down the flame and after opening the lid we will add cashew nut paste in which we have grind of a green cardamom also because it gives a very nice flavor and all the dry fruits so cover it add little bit of water see it's a fine gravy we have to cook it till it leaves oil then we will add curd we have made a paste of our dry fruits cashew nuts almonds and watermelon seeds we have blended them together with curd to get a thick fine paste you may find it difficult to grind cashew nuts and almonds separately because they are lesser in quantity so don't worry you can always grind them together with curd now you can see this is a gravy made with boiled onion paste ginger garlic red chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder and tomato puree to so cook this gravy for 5 to 7 minutes it does not take much time because um, onion is boiled and tomatoes are also boiled for 5 minutes we are adding curd and paste of all the dry fruits always soak your dry fruits in warm or boiling water and now we are adding salt add salt according to your taste taste it after the gravy is ready and if you require this ready made garam masala powder 1 teaspoon of it and always try to cook this gravy in a deep pan because you may see the gravy is getting cooked and it is coming out of the pan. In the end we were going to add cream. Now slow down the flame and cook on slow flame till it leaves oil or the oil gets separated from the gravy. And we have to fry them from both the sides. Our pieces are ready, cheese has started melting and now while serving we will put our pasandas and then we will put our gravy. Just before serving we have to do that. We will not going to put our paneer pieces into the gravy otherwise they will separate. So keep them aside and let the gravy cook and enjoy it with chapati, naan. After putting dry fruits it requires little more time. You can see oil on the sides now. We will add cream to it. This is half a cup fresh cream. This gravy is quite rich. But don't worry, we prepare this gravy occasionally. So you can afford to eat it. And this is yellow color. And now again we have to cook it for 5 minutes till it gets thickened. See now you can see our gravy is cooked nicely. It took 25 to 30 minutes and now we have to serve it. Put out the flame. This kasuri methi it's optional. If you like to put, put otherwise you can leave it one more thing we have fried it earlier and the cheese started melting so don't worry put it in the fridge for some time so they will set and now just serve them now our paneer cheese pasanda is ready